Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another late night here on the East Coast. How y'all doing? Hopefully pretty good. Um, oh, hang on one sec. Ta ta yeah, okay. That seems to be working. Eh, let me know how the audio and all that stuff is. Um, using a different setup, because last time we streamed Darkest Dungeon, it was having a lot of issues with, like, OBS. So, we're using old OBS. My, my true, my faithful, the one that has never failed me. Um, the only time it's ever failed me was for Battlefield 1, but everything else. Oh, old OBS is the way to go. She's a beast. So yeah, how, how is, how's everyone doing? Hopefully good. And Dark, man, Darkest Dungeon, why you gotta be like this? I love everything about this game, except the beginning of it. You know what I mean? I cannot tell how much time has passed since I sent that letter. Okay. How, how long has it been? I know you just said you can't tell me, but... Hmm. Oh, really? You guys don't feel... Well, I mean, this is... Wow. This would be pretty good, guys. What do you think? <laughs> Let's see what we got. Let's take... A sort of weird old group out. You know what I mean? I think that sounds good. Um, hang on here. It's not. It's not working. Um, weird. Oh. Anyway, sorry about that. Let's see what we got. Um. Well, yeah, we can't buy any upgrades till you're level one, right? Unfortunate, unfortunate. But skills we can probably buy. So let's take a peek. I kind of want to take out an antiquarian. Again, the early game's rough no matter what you do, so maybe have some fun with it. That could be good. Let's see, we just got a, a slash here. Eh. Okay, blights them for one point. Yeah. Yeah. Antiquarian is pretty bad, actually. I guess you're just taking them for, for money. We'll have to check them out when we have like a little bit more competent group. These guys I do like. Uh, I like my Yop. That's a good one. I like Adrenaline Rush a lot. It's pretty good. I usually rock something like Iron Swan is important. Wicked Hack is good. Breakthrough is an interesting one, but I don't personally like it. <laughs> shit. Why are you shit? Oh yeah, you're shit. I mean, that's nice. If we could get rid of your kleptomaniac. I mean, light sensitive is... It's kind of janky too, actually. I see. I see why you're in the shit pile. Yeah, I can read that. What's up, Argami? Yeah, I think it's going to be a little too pricey, though. Cure both of these. I mean, Scrounger is good, though. Well, we'll, we'll hang on to them. Who knows? I don't have anything in the stagecoach, do I? No. Oh, we just got to get past that early game hump, boys. Let's see what our crew's going to be. Um, well, let's not take Brazilian. Let's take our other highwayman. It's, we're not going there, you fool. Let's take... Okay, we got an interesting crew here. We could do something like this. Um, I kind of like... Because point blank shot works in... Only the first one. Hmm. That's too bad, it's really good.
Point blank shot used to push you back. Like if you used it before, it used to move you back a slot. Hmm. Does it not anymore? You can still use all your stuff in slot two. Maybe we do this. And you're really good. Harvest, I like that one a lot. Yeah, it's pretty good. Finale's quite potent. Okay, so you have you have options if you get put in the back, except for Finale. Which is fine, because if you get put in the front... hey -o. So we'll actually do it like this. We'll open with Finale, I think, every time. It's a really good ability. Deals a whole bunch of damage. Gives a good chance of taking somebody out. Lowers dodge and accuracy, though, but that's only temporary. It's just a, a nice little opener. And they can just harvest and slice off from the sort of back two slots. Okay. Let's see, that would put me... That actually puts me here. Which doesn't let me use my abilities. Huh. Well, let's, let's have him here. And finale will be the, the panic button, I think. Sniper shot is great. Unfortunately, we don't have someone else that can mark. Do we have anyone else I can mark in? No. Sadly, no. So, suppressing fire. It's, it's pretty bad, actually. Sniper shot's good. Bull is good. Battlefield bandage, incredible. I like rallying flare. Sniper's mark does reduce dodge. We don't have another another mark with us yet, unfortunately. Where are all your abilities useful from? Um, we could always bring... Yeah. See, this is why I hate the early game, is the first, like, five, six weeks, you're, like, so dependent on, like, RNG to get, like, semi-useful companions and like skill setups and stuff I think we'll be okay so we're gonna be rocking these guys okay we have point blank shot now duelist advance is really good open vein is quite strong let's see think I think I like wicked slice a little bit more actually all things considered I mean bleeds interesting and it does debuff bleed resist so we're doing a little bit well we're actually doing 30% less damage I don't know if you guys can hear Kalen freaking out. The cat has been a little shitlord the last few days. Just a little shitlord. I think we'll do it like this here. And she's getting pretty mad. So again, suppressing fire is pretty bad. Um, sniper's mark. <laughs> yeah, she's raging. Honestly, I, th I think we take it. Because, I mean, I'm going to want it eventually. And it is, I don't know, it's just a lot better than suppressing fire. And what do you have here? Yep, we like those. Or did, did you, did you... Solo. Meh. Okay, so Dirk Stab I can use in any slot. Which is interesting. Extra stress versus human. Wow. Lower accuracy versus human. It's going to be annoying if we go in the ruins. Um, lower speed if the torch is low. That's okay. That's something we can handle. I, I really like Finale. I do. It's an incredible ability. 
I don't know if we have the group for it. But again, it does push him to the back. It would probably be be smart to um, take one of these guys off. So this affects two targets. Um, the problem I have with this game is, the, the, I mean, the AoE, right? If it's not an AoE debuff, it's garbage. And I don't know why they made that change. It used to be AoE was viable. It feels to me like they took the Paradox approach, which is, I don't even know what you take for, oh, we already have Dirk Stab. <clears throat> the, the Paradox approach is, if we, like if something works, like just nerf it. And it's like, eh, I, I don't personally agree with that, but go for it. Agility whistles, it's pretty nice actually. Pretty nice if we get a Houndsmaster. That's kind of crap. That's really good. So that's what we're going for then. That's interesting. Um, but no, we're just going to go for a short. Generally, I'd rather do medium missions. But again, early on, you kind of have a crap team. And I just want to get a really good trinket early on if I can. Because if we ever get a Grave Robber... Plus 30% stun is nothing to joke about. <clears throat> get two of those, get like three of these. Um, a holy water, a few torches. And then food. Uh, we could probably get by with one shovel, a bit risky. Ten food should be enough. I think we'll be okay like that. What do you have to origami? I just like whenever I play this game, I'm just always excited to hit like the the week five to ten when you start like being able to narrow These down and pick and choose and stuff like that. Once familiar, now foreign. It's. It's similar to XCOM in that way. Well, we don't have to explore either this room or this room, which is cool. Uh huh. Oh shit! I don't know. Hang on. Let's see, so we go here, 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 here. We're gonna have to backtrack one way or another. It's unfortunate. Getting better at drawing? Nice, dude. I wish I had the time to do that these days. Which we got. If only treasure oh, could do we name the this? The TD? Otherworldly corruption. Yeah, I think that was that guy that popped by. That sounds like a real name. Oh man, does not. We'll have to change their names when we get out of here. What Finding the heck? Stuff is only the How first are those plus test? hiding there? I'm not really. Now it must be carried home. I'm not sold on that one, boys. Um, so we do have a trap and a curio. <sighs> what is the chance? Does the high women have increased trap picking ability? I can't remember. I don't think so. I think it's just the grave robber and uh, maybe the bounty hunter. He might though. Oh, the blackest of fates. Five out of five. I'll return with Cuthbert's banner and Boylan's cro Bolian's crossbow, so as to honor them with the proper burial. I will leave what is left of the thrice damned Mizir and his trinkets to the swine folk. Perhaps they will build him the memorial he rightly deserves. Very cool. I don't know if I have to keep that. I don't know, you still hear Kaylin scream. The cat has been a little shit. She just like runs around and bites you and stuff like that. Constantly. I mean, she's just playing. She's a baby. Uh. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, nice. There's that shovel I was worried about not having another of. Oh. 
I don't know if I saw that and just didn't click it. Ancient traps lie in painful. wait. Have a food. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Not the end of the world, though. Starting this off with very high stress. It's okay. It happens. Okay. Well, we need this one dead. And the nice thing is, like, again, pushing him back is not the end of the world because I can always just stab my way up. And we're gonna go for this guy because, again, we do want him out of the picture. <laughs> I don't know if you hear, she's killing me right now. Um. I do want him dead. As the fiend yeah. falls, she, she had a chance of killing this one, but it just wasn't worth it. Alright, well. Uh, unfortunately, I'm just out of my comfort area to take her out. So we can go for a guaranteed kill on this killing. Uh, it's 5 to 10. Not completely guaranteed, but it's close the enemy crumbles. Alright, she's dead. The bleeds, which is nice. My catnap? I don't know. I don't. I don't think cat drugs is necessarily the answer. Um, let's go for a stun here. Somehow I didn't stun the corpse. It's unfortunate. So this is interesting. Like, like I said, they nerfed the shit. Like, nerfed the shit out of um, AoE abilities, and I think they, like, Holy Lance got nerfed, I think they nerfed a lot of movement juggling abilities as well, it just feels that way, which is unfortunate. Uh, it does feel like they buffed Duelist Advance, though. This used to be a really shitty ability, and now it's, it's piece strong, uh, which I like. You're outmatched. Damn. Stone Cold. Let's get a little bit of healing here. And why Yanks? I mean, if you remember our long war run, he was the man. So, we could try and bait this. Like, not kill this guy. Like, just go for a Wicked Slice on the corpse. Hopefully attack sooner than him and get a stress heal off. Um, we are a little bit stressed. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, we might be able to stun this guy again, actually. Yeah. Now, you do have to be careful doing this, because the the longer you, like, keep doing what I'm doing right now, sort of, like, keeping one guy around, uh, there is always... Okay, nice. There's always a chance that um, they have reinforcements come. I think they added that. So the reason why I healed the Hellion stress first, even though she had less stress than obviously our guy Musard here. Okay, yeah, it does push him back. It doesn't say that though. Oh, it does back one. I don't know why I missed that. I was pretty sure it kept pushing him back, and you had to like juggle that constantly. Which I mean, I like because then you keep him here, and then you, you point blank duelist, point blank duelist. I I like abilities like that. I love the playing around, like having characters that are versatile in their position and you can juggle where you want them to be. Um, I enjoy that. I don't know why they nerfed someone, but they do it. Waiting to be spent. Not much you can do about it. Okay, so we can go up, down. Uh, I think... I think I want to go this one. Unfortunately, we don't know what's in either, but I think this is the way we want to go. Oh, this is a nice encounter for us. Yeesh. That one's dead. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. But I, I don't know. I feel like they buffed the high women, high women a fair amount. 
Uh, wow, they have 100% stun resist, so I only have like a 25 with that. That's okay. Let's go for a kill. Um... Yeah, we'll just heal. I mean, healing for two is not a lot, but it's something. Ooh. Well, that worked out then. Oh Another god, I love point blank shot. Cleansed from our it might be happening, boys. It honestly... We might go back to doing my favorite thing, which is running a team full of people that can juggle around. We could be rocking like maybe two high women in the front. Um, what would I do then? Okay, so two high women. Jester's nice. He's got a lot of options. Probably a grave robber though. So two high women, grave robber, occultist. I think. I like the occultist a lot. Let's see if we can get one of those. Um, I mean, one of the strongest. Teams, if you will, is like two plague doctors in the back. You can even get away with three plague doctors if you um, have like someone hefty in front, like a leper. So that could always be an option. But see, this is what I love. Like, I love like going, okay, man, like let's get this team comp and let's try this out and let's try this set of abilities, and then it's like you you actually try and do that, and um, the game says no. Not, not till later. This is unfortunate. These guys usually have pretty good speed. Uh, we did manage to go first, which is cool. Big crit. Oh, he's dead. If he bleeds. Which I was going to say, he's a skeleton. He probably shouldn't bleed. But that's okay. Oh, I was saying, so the reason why I healed the Hellion Stress before I healed the Highwayman is, in my opinion, it's better to have everyone with low stress and one guy with a ton of stress. Um, the reason for that being, what is their stun resist garbage? The reason for that being is you can always pay to have one guy's stress reduced, but like it's not super cost effective to pay to have everyone's stress reduced, you know what I mean? Uh, let's guarantee he's already moved this turn though. Or the nine damage, it's not happening. Uh, oh well. We tried. Yeah. Let's go for the guarantee. Is broken. Maintain the I'm gonna play the cultists? I do. I really like cultists in games. I find them Another super interesting. Falls. So now that we've pushed him back, if the Hellion goes first again, she can iron swan and kill the guy in the back, which is super cool. Um, we don't actually, we don't actually need you to do anything, Mr. Jester, so let's try and get some stress down. Okay, Iron Swan. Oh, oh, that's not what I wanted at all. I'm sure you guys could have guessed. Definitely not what I wanted. That's okay. Oh, we could just leave her here again so she can Iron Swan next turn. Because I'm not sure... Man, it's like a 50-50 whether I kill this thing. Yeah, no dice. But see, this is why, like, having characters that can juggle like that, they're so useful. Because it's like, in the first slot, I can deal a bunch of damage to, like, these two guys. Or it's like, I can push myself back, and then it's like, do I lunge forward, and then I have like a counter? Maybe, it's pretty cool. Or I could like, take a shot. Yeah, this is exactly why I went with the shot on him. As you're not really guaranteed to get 80% in any game, especially not games like Dish. Uh, so you're getting a little high there. Come on, Yanks. Be the man I know you are. Be the man I've seen you be in Long War. You're a beast. Continually onslaught. I could have stunned uh, the front guy here. I could have done some shenanigans. All. But I didn't. Man, Battlefield Medicine so good. I remember rocking two Arbalists at one point as well, and that was very interesting. I think we're just going to go for the stress heal here. 
this guy's gonna get his turn first. Oh, he didn't. Okay, the odds I kill this guy are pretty low. I deal 5 to 10 damage, so I have a 1 in 6 chance, 17%. Oh, but I mean, there's a 8.5% chance to crit. You gotta factor that in. So let's just go ahead and say something like a, um, an 18% chance to kill this guy. Not great. Or we just scream, stun. I get probably one more turn to do a little bit of healing and stuff, which is good. Something I need. Mostly worried about my high women. Plus 40% healing received. Like, battlefield medicine is incredible. And let's start um, positioning ourselves in such a way that we can deal with this guy before reinforcements come. Which is always the spook. Now, thing is, I could roll the dice and see. The Jester should go next. He should. Um, and then probably the Hellion. You never know, though. This guy could roll pretty high. So, just don't want to deal with it. This expedition at least promises huh. success. Well, we can do that. Anti-venom. Do I need anti-venom? Not really. Let's get back and going. Oh, hey, more torches. That's nice. Oh, we got a little bit of food? Okay. Let's eat up here. Just a titch. I believe food heals, what, 10% or something? 10% of your health? So the Jester's not at 20, so actually kind of sucks healing him. That's okay. Curio with a room battle. Okay. Not, not incredible. Blank of Fire's not too bad. But, I mean, I don't love it. Let's just say that. Technically, the Blood Letter is like the worst enemy here, um, but we do have a chance to stun him with our Barbarian. And in fact, our Hellion, sorry. So here's an interesting thing. I don't know how this works. Um, if an ability affects two slots and you have half a character in it, how does that work? Is this guy immune to push? 75%. Because there is a chance I could throw Bolas with the Arbalist, push him back one, and then Barbaric Yacht stun both of these characters. It's interesting. Um, I think we just try and get a kill on this guy best we can, though. Okay, well. I mean, RNG happens, right, boys? Can't complain. Um... If our Highwayman goes before the Hellion, we have a chance of killing this guy. No dice. So we can't use our um, Iron Swan, sadly. What is the bleed? Oh, one damage? Yeah, I'm not too worried about one damage. Um, we'll... I mean, we have a 75% chance to stun this guy, and I think I'm going to, because they're pretty terrifying. I mean, it does lower our damage a bit, but that's okay. Get some big damage out on him. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Oh my god. Have I mentioned that's what I love? Like, I'm sure it's not the best strategy, but that is, like, my favorite strategy. That guy's dead now to bleed. Slowly, is just gently. weird groups this like this, like the non-standard group, where you you just move enemies around, you do stuff. And I gotta say, if nothing else, this game does that extremely well. Okay, so these enemies, obviously I can kill this guy a lot easier than I can kill this guy. So there's a lot to be said for trying to kill him first. The thing is... Um, we can always Barbaric Yop again and stun this guy. And if I can kill this guy this turn... Eh, this is a bit of a gamble, but if I can kill this guy this turn, I would feel very good. Because his abilities are... They're, well, they're not fun, that's for damn sure. We'll see. We'll see how it works. Didn't get my crit, which is fine. We're only 
but there is always a chance. There she is. So that worked out for me then. Because again, pop in with a Yop. He's stunned. And now we have some characters that can deal with that. Reduce stress a little bit. What is your bleed? One damage per round for two rounds. I'm not worried about it. Uh, point blank shot is pretty much going to kill this guy. Oh, thank God. I was hoping we could have a round to battlefield medicine. That's super nice. The interesting thing is battlefield medicine really stacks well with... Um, again, if you have two Arbalists, you can like crazy heal. And the other interesting thing is it also works really well with characters like the Hellion or the Leper or someone with a like a self heal. <sighs> um, what are the odds I stun again? Actually, not too bad. Let's let's be a little cheeky. Okay, that's fine. Um, I think I would rather worry about stress than health. I think health is a little bit easier to manage at the moment. So I should be able to move with another character. No, I didn't get lucky. That's okay. Oh shit. Death door on the brink, and bleeding. Facing the abyss. Not great. So we have to use bandage on this guy before he dies right now. Hey. These nightmarish creatures can Fine. be felled. They can be beaten. Welcome welcome back from the brink. <laughs> that was interesting. Uh so it is locked. Let's use a key. Oh, just a whole bunch of money. Nice. For a task well performed. Um, so we have to go to two more rooms. Just because our jester is a little injured, we're gonna pop some torches. Let's get that going. Which will be our eight. Hmm. This is actually pretty good for us. Like they're high in stress damage, which is like super annoying. But right now, like, stress is something we're doing pretty good for. Because we do have a jester. Oh, well, cat just attacked Kaelin in her sleep again. Um, all the enemies rolling insanely high there. So that's actually a bit curious. So I had to have rolled a 1 or a 2 on the jester, and this guy had to have rolled a 6. Or is it a d8 they roll? Might be a d8, in which case that makes sense. Sadly, our big thing with the jester here is bleeding, and it's not gonna not gonna be working. Um, might just go for some stress heal, honestly. Uh, this is a tricky one. I do need somebody dead, though. Problem is, this is forward one. How many of your abilities can be used from the third slot? Just adrenaline rush. Not great. Okay. Well. We're not going to get the bleed off, but at least we'll put a little bit of hurt on this guy. Which is pretty big. Let's go for the double stun, please. Thank you. Buy myself a turn to figure out where we're going. Ah, uh, didn't roll quite high enough. Okay, so here, you're going to point blank. It's going to pull us back, and then we're going to be able to shoot this guy next turn. Back to the pit. And again, Tempting Goblet is not the end of the world for us right now because we do have that stress uh, reduction. There is a lot to be said for shooting this guy, but I'm going to be able to Iron Swan, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, lowering your stress would be pretty good. I think we're just going to try and deal with this character though. Well, let's see. So I get this turn, I get Iron Swan, Arbalist shot, he dies, and I have next turn to take this guy out. So yeah, let's worry about stress. And these characters are quite slow, so I should be going first. one hits. There she is. Okay, you go first. Now, again, that's a little bit of bad luck, but it's not the end of the world. 
Um, so now we're in that sort of weird situation where we need this guy dead because um, we're not going to be able to stun him. So I'm going to go with the dirt. Again, that's why I love. I love just being able to shuffle it. This is a 50% chance to kill. Yeah. Rolled a little bad there, unfortunately. Uh, interesting. I was 99% sure that enemies that... Never mind. I don't know. I thought... Oh, fuck. That was really bad. Woo! Really? I missed that? Huh. That's a lot. Never mind. I was gonna say, enemies Remind that die the crits are supposed to, um... Slow and insidious killer. ...not leave corpses, but... I didn't... I didn't get a crit there. I don't know why I thought I did. Okay, so... A little better. You're okay for now. Let's pop you up here. Iron Man's actually have decent amounts of health. That's surprising. I don't know if health is a random stat or not. Thank God for Scout. Which way has less room bat? Oh, okay. We're actually fine. Um, let's take a little bit of stress because I'm curious. Nice. Okay, I don't have room for all that. I don't need the holy water right now. But I might find a cure to use it. Okay, torches the for sure. Is a blazing star is born. I do I do want all these. Really? Okay. Yeah, I got a lot. I don't know if that has a use. Medicinal herbs we don't need. Um we may not end up needing the food. I mean, we might get a random food proc here and cry, but... Eh, everyone's fine. Woohoo! Snuck in there. That was filthy. Alright, let's go grab this curio and get out of here. What you got for me? Get oh, son of a bitch. To fall for such a little thing. A bite of bread. Nice, Yanks. Add a boy. That was actually kind of dumb. <laughs> um, that that proc like that. Oh, nothing. We didn't get anything for it. But I mean, ultimately, we kind of got like a a net stress heal in some ways. Like Yanks went down a lot. That's okay. Off we go. The shifted corridors and I'm really happy for this trinket though, it's a really good one. Are beginning to feel familiar. It lets you sometimes like stun people twice in a row, which is pretty cool. The more like percent chance you can stack on abilities is always better. And now we're we're almost there. We got like two more weeks and then we'll start being able to wean people out. Okay, yeah again, another fear of mankind. It's not the end of the world actually. Bandits tend to be like annoying enemies, but not the worst. Um, what the fuck is wrong with this? <laughs> Jeebers. Well, that's fine, I guess. That's interesting. Interesting. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Why did these... Why did these guys get stressed back? I didn't have them doing anything. Or did I? A borrowed, I think, yeah. Borrowed, I put somewhere. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see what we got here first. No, not here. This is the most important part. Okay. New Arbalist, I like. Shoot. I like Vestal. She's fun. The I would like that Man at Arms, war. actually. I would like it enough to get rid of this Hellion, I think. Oh, never mind. He's complete garbage. Whoa, plus 10% prot? Whoa! Whoa! What? That's insane. So he just takes 10% less damage. On like a super high health character. That's quite interesting. Can I increase the barracks? No, not enough deeds. Hmm...
I mean... Interesting. There's something to be said for that plus 10% prod. I've never seen that before, but that is... That's really interesting. I, I wonder how it works, though. So, the game seems to round everything down, right? So, when I use a 10% heal on a character with 19 health, I heal 1. Which is weird, right? Like, it... It, like, rounds down unless you hit the full value. So how does that work for damage? Right? So if an enemy deals 3 damage to me, but I reduce it by 10%, technically that's 2.7. So is that rounded down to 2? Because if so, th that makes this guy, like, pretty chunky. Pretty chunky. It's neat. It's neat. I mean, I do like Scout Chance a lot. I hate Kleptomaniac, though. But again, this guy also has Klepto. We'd have to get rid of it. Um, and overall, I think Hellions are kind of better than a Man at Arms. Man at Arms depends on your group, though. Hmm. Let's check our other guys. Okay, another Klepto. Really? Thank God for that. Wow, I'm just, just have the worst luck with these characters. I've never seen Klepto, ever, except for the default guy. And now it's just everybody in the world. And um, that's terrible. I mean, that's good, actually. <laughs> like, that, that is pretty terrible, but that's a really good ability. Hmm. I wonder if there's any other ways to raise prot. And at that point, does it ever become... Yeah, this gives himself plus 25%. And that's going to go up. I mean, I think there's something to this. I think this with Man of Arms is like the one time when you're like, yeah, you know what, it's pretty good. I don't know. I think maybe we just... 10% uh, more health, though, is pretty good. This is a really tough one to me, boys. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this Hellion. I just don't want that many Kleptos on the group. Another soul battered and broken. We'll hang on to that for Cast now. Aside like a spent torch. <sighs> I'm curious. I'm curious about it. All right, let's go ahead and I guess we don't need to upgrade these guys unless we're taking them out again, which we're probably not. Um, we will be taking, still still don't have enough deeds for weaponsmithing. It's so brutal. Where do we get deeds? Cool. Wow, 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 RNG. What you doing to me? So how do I see which one? N normally one of the, like it tells you, there's somewhere, there's somewhere to tell which ones drop where. Is that trying to tell me that the, oh, plus 1% crit, it's pretty good. Plus 2% crit, plus 5% stress, minus 3% virtue chance. Uh, that's still, I mean, that crit chance. These I need though, the deeds really badly. 100% of room battles. And the wield. Don't really know what the wield is, I'll be honest. I only really remember the ruins. Because when I spent a lot of time playing this game, that was pretty much the only one I could go to. Okay, the board's pretty beastly. I like that. <laughs> this is lazy eye. So let's go ahead and look at what our, our group is going to be. Not you. Let's get everyone out of here. Um, 
another klepto though. Star Jeebus. That's just so bad. Alright, well, let's get borrowed. We can throw Grazillion. I think I'm gonna do this. Uh, this is actually pretty good. We could bring Herpy. Oh, it's for the Warrens, though. Hmm. We could bring a healer. Could help. I don't know what the wield has to offer. The creatures and bandits. Okay, creatures and bandits. You can actually use a lot of his abilities in the third slot. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Hmm. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I actually have no idea what I need here. This is the thing. Battlefield Medicine would be really good, probably. Because I don't know if we're going to be... I mean, bandits have a lot of bleed. Creature sounds kind of bleedy as well. Good cop, bad cop. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> sure. I think maybe we do this. Part of me really wants to... No. No, 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 no. I think we'll be okay. All we gotta worry about is Herpy going insane. Which, psh, not the end of the world. Let's go ahead and level up our skills and stuff. Uh, yeah, we still can't use the blacksmith. Ugh, just awful. Can we level up skills here yet, though? Yes, thank god. Okay, because we use portraits here. That's really nice. Do you have... Okay, so... Um, Holy Lance, you are probably never going to get a chance to move. It's pretty cheap to upgrade, though. Why not? Work of Faith. Um. Oh, Inspiring Cry. Okay, so this heals two. And this one, you can use anywhere. Heals for one, lowers stress, and increases torch. Huh. That's interesting. Certainly a lot better than Bulwark of Faith. Let's try that out. That's interesting. Okay. I wish there was an easier way to drag people in here. Emboldening Vapor is pretty good if we had, like, a group for it. <laughs> Alright, and you're not leveled up. What do you have? Dazzling Light, Judgment. Mace Bash is fine. I would like the um, AoE heal a little more, though. Because we still have our Judgment, which I think is just fine. It's got a higher chance to crit than Mace Bash. Uh, I can't use it in the front. It has same accuracy. A little bit less damage, but again, you might crit, but you also heal yourself, which is pretty cool. Dazzling Light is pretty awesome. And we have a lot of abilities that increase um, Torch. So, that's neat. Huh. Um, we can't buy trinkets yet. Um, we do have trinkets, though. <laughs> Any of these worth taking? No, they're all pretty bad. And this one's interesting, but again, our torch is going to be pretty high, so... Alrighty. Off we go into the wield. What do you think? Blights? Bleeds? I, th I think we're going to be dealing with that kind of nasty stuff. Um, it's just a short, which is nice. Get some food in here. Twelve should be good. Two shovels because I hate not having a shovel. We're gonna run a little bit low on torches because we do have a lot of abilities that increase that. 
Um, let's get some bandages because I don't really know what I'm up against. Maybe a medicinal herb here. And um, an antivenom. Went a little bit heavy in the provisions, but I have no idea what I'm encountering, so probably a good idea to do so. And we can always run away. It's just mostly I find early game, I just, or pretty much the whole game, I just try and do like a long mission and missions with good trinkets. Because trinkets are like awesome. Eruption oh, wow, really? Sapping all good life from these groves. I didn't know you could get a map that evil. looked like this. This is really stupid, actually. <laughs> Fuck. Ugh, alright. Uh, well. I guess we go this way to start. It's kind of annoying. Okay, good. I mean, so this is the trap? Some heroes are better at disarming traps than others. Does it say? Oh, 60%, okay. Trap disarm 100%, actually, apparently. Really? It says here 60. Oh, yeah, you've got that trinket. Oh, I forgot about that. It's a pretty cool little trinket. Oh, shit, do I got point blank? Okay. Yeah, but I don't have duelist advance, because I'm an idiot. Uh, well, I mean, we do have a crusader, so that'll be okay. It sucks though. Yeah, this does make it look kind of blighty. Oh, an ectoplasm. This looks kind of dumb actually. It reminds me of a gelatinous cube from D&D. And I do love my gelatinous cubs. Really? The speed 2 guy... Speed 1. The speed 1 guy went before a speed 7 and a bunch of other high speed characters. Really... Terrible RNG on that happens so. though. Okay, so what is your stun chance? 50, 10. So we can stun you. So you're pretty pretty resistant to stuff actually, that guy is. So let's um We're just gonna stun the, oh I can't stun the guy in the first one. True. And realistically I do not get a blight off on this guy, right? 50% chance. See what happens. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so to kill you, you're taking four damage. Tick. I need to deal three damage. Which that's a kill. Cool. I don't know what this guy does, but I don't want to find out. Let's get the old stun off. We'll heal up, and the next turn will be looking dandy. The death by inches. Um. So we don't have to do anything this turn. Tracking shot is a pretty good ability. Let's get real. Not, not crying about that. I didn't actually need this turn so much. <laughs> but again, this is a speed one guy. So is this only work on- oh, I can use this on anyone! Ooh, okay, inspiring for cry is pretty good. Let's, uh, let's get herpy de-stressed a little. That's neat, I like that. Um. Yeah. Another one falls. So you remember when we started and I was like, High Women is the These worst class? Creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. I don't know, guys. Oh, okay. Here's a here's a new thing to interu uh, interact with. Troubling effigy. Unsettling effigy erected in service to a mysterious god. Interesting. Uh, what do you think about holy water? Well, here's the thing, right? So... I don't know, if this was like Call Cthulhu, right? Like, that's sort of my basis for everything. Um, if it's a... If it's like some actual, like, a powerful god, right? Do I want to be using holy water on it? Right? Would I piss it off? Maybe I set it on fire. 
You know? That could be cool. Hmm. Or, or since we don't know what it does, we could always just interact with it and find out the hard way. More it's like Deus Volt, he's the holy water. That's true, he would be. He's just staring it down. He's just like, you son of a bitch. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking, though, burning it might be the way to go. Um, hard to see. Maybe. Or maybe... No, like I was going to say, maybe like cleanse it with the herbs? You know what I mean? I'm going to go with my gut. I'm going to go with my gut, and I'm going to throw holy water on it. Um, who am I not afraid to lose something terrible on? That's like That's always what the question comes down to. Yeah, I do like this guy. Oh, we, we do have another high woman. Sorry, Grizzillion. Take the head for the team. Oh! Mankind hater. Oh. That's cool. That could do things. Yeah, Bard's got fear. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's smart. I wonder if that would have had a like a negative effect if I used him to do it. Like maybe I assume that means like he's afraid of his god, though. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, like um, he's very devoted. Oh, it's already been looted. Rip. Uh, we're gonna have to start using our our torch increase. What the fuck is this? Nature herself. I oh, use a shovel. Okay. Victim to the spreading really glad corruption. I brought two then. I think that's gonna be another one. Intent. I might end up needing a third, unfortunately. Okay. Fungal artillery. Well, we're gonna open pretty strong here. Obliterate. Fuck! I love that ability. Oh, it feels so good. It actually does feel so good, though. Okay, so let's increase our torch and try and get a stun onto this character. Nice. Don't know what they do yet, but... I feel like it's probably bad. Uh, so, since we already stunned one of them, now this is a bit silly. Um, you know, it'd, it'd obviously be better to have both of them stunned, right? But since we already stunned one of them... Oh, they got 60% blight resist, actually. Fuck. Okay, we're just going to disorienting blast the... The back one, yeah. Did big damage because human hater. That's true, yeah. I mean, it always does, like, pretty chunks of damage. Okay, so... Do I go for the stun on this guy? What is my chance? Um... 85% chance. Pretty good. Yeah. So basically, the first round of combat was stunning all of the enemies, and then you getting a, an insta pop. So we're we're up one. That's a good start. Good start. Um, they're semi more likely to get bleeded. So there's a thing we could go for a potential bleed, just two points around, or we go for a pistol shot, which has a higher chance to crit. Mm -hmm. I mean, critting's pretty cool. You know, I like to roll those dice. Yeah, let's go for the bleed, I guess. Acceptable. All right. We could maybe get a play off on this guy. This is an interesting thing here. Uh, we still have like a 50% chance to stun these guys. So... I think I'd rather that than roll and maybe not get the bleed. That's really funny though. That worked out for me quite nicely. Uh, again, we... Okay, so for this character we only have like a 35% chance to stun. So... Actually might better we go for some damage. If we get a good hit on this guy he dies anyway. Yeah. Disadvantage. Give them no quarter. Okay. 
Because ultimately killing things is like stunning them for longer. You know? I don't think I'm wrong there. <laughs> oh yeah, that's beautiful. Groping swipe. Please do not grope at Grizzillion. His nads are not to be touched. They are off limits, sir. Um, let's speed two. Well, these guys are really slow, actually. That's cool. So I should have another character go before him, and this is one of like my highest damaging guys. So I, I feel like there's a lot to be said for finishing this guy off with like the Vestal. You know? Um, yeah, okay, he's dead. No, he's not. Oh, shit. I thought he... Oh, he doesn't have bleed. Uh, that's awkward. Maybe he can't do anything in the front, though. We don't know. Maybe. Maybe it's Maybelline, boys. We'll find out. What can he do in the front? Uh, okay, Crusader might go first. No. Escape Cloud. Lights. One damage per round. That's nothing. Dash nothing. Let's get some big hits. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Can I get a stun off? Perfect. So we're gonna use this round for a little bit of stress heal with uh, Vard's character. Very nice. And again, these enemies are really slow, so we can kind of jank them, which I like. This is a pretty solid lineup, actually. If I again, if I had duelist advance, I would feel it be a lot stronger because again, I don't feel like tracking shot is doing me anything. Duelist advance gives me a lot more utility. So far, though, I'm not I'm not terrified of this area. Go for uh, Deeds are really nice. We don't actually have to go in this next room. Uh, we will, though. Just in case we get like another weird scouting proc or something. No. Wasn't sure. Wasn't sure if that would do anything. There was that secret room the one time. So part of me was thinking, like, maybe we can proc like a secret room or something. I still don't know how that works. I feel like we're going to need, like, the plus scouting chance um, abilities. Hunger. Sure. I have enough food, right? Okay, yeah. Scared me for a second. I was like, oh shit, did I not bring food? I wonder if hunger, like, procs more often, or if it has, like, like the timer on it? Because I'm sure it's, like, an internal ticker where it's got, like, a sort of, like, a mean time to happen, if you will. Uh, I wonder if that ticks faster when you're backtracking. I actually don't know. But I'm curious. Ah, good, yeah. That's that other shovel. Halls clicked on the little hand there. Would've been pretty bad. Okay. See, do you see what I mean? That's why I'm wondering it, because that was like another one. Okay, old tree has a huge hole inside the trunk. Perhaps there's something in there. Well, generally I don't advise sticking your hands in old trees. Let's get real. It's not something I, I normally recommend. Um, I don't know. What would you put on a tree? Okay, it's got mushrooms on it. So. Mushrooms, mushrooms, mushrooms. All right couple options. Uh, burning it always comes to my mind, but I am just naturally want to burn things, I guess. Uh, medicinal herbs, maybe to sort of disinfect the tree. Uh, although herbs on a tree doesn't make sense. Maybe the antivenom for that reason, right? Like, mushrooms, maybe they're poisonous. A lot of things here are. I'm still thinking about burn. Let's try anti venom. Anti venom protects against poisonous sap. Ooh, that's something worth we'll keep in mind. You know what I think would be really cool though? Um, I don't know if it's currently like this. Unfortunately, I, I'm going to make the assumption it's not. 
but I would love it for curios like that to have like multiple different like things you can do. Like here, I'm like, oh cool, I can anti-venom again. But like, I would love for it to be like putting a torch in it has like a different effect that, you know, you sort of have to like be like, oh, okay, which is better? Or like, not just which is better. Oh my God, the deeds, yes. But like, which can I afford to do now? Let's investigate. I sense the work of spirits. Grazilian, please. Digging up, oh God, grave digging. Oh, you got vertigo. Vertigo is not a disease. When I get vertigo, minus 50%, oh. Uh, I mean, that's annoying, but, oh shit. I forgot to disarm them. Oh, some maggage. The beasts will fight harder in the dark. I think we'll be fine, boys. I forgot the movie to the front, sadly, but. Um... Okay, look, if I get a blight off, these guys are dead. Five to nine on my open vein. Another abomination like cleansed from our lands. Well, see, now now it's not going to happen, but we could potentially get one off, which is ah, uh, they're actually not dead, sadly. So it is be better we just stun one then. Um, doesn't really matter which of these I do. Okay, well, she can stun anyone but the front. He can stun the front. Let's just do it this way. Oh, shit. No! This is like the one time when I wish he had um, the, the shank ability. I forget what it's called. Like the little slice and dice. For the 8 damage. 50% chance to kill one on an 80% chance to hit. Or, oh, they have 100% stun resist. Oh, right, shit. Okay, yeah, we just try and nuke them then. That was a bit silly on my part. Well, I'm glad we missed that because if we had a, I mean, I had a 10% chance to hit that stun. If I had got it, I would have like totally fucked my entire plan. Because I would have just kept doing it. Impunity. Just kept being dumb and trying to use it and be like, ah, we're just getting bad RNG. Well, that's Continually good. Onslaught. Destroy them Could have used her to heal. It's not incorrect. I think we're alright though. Back to the pit. Nice, nice. Okay, room battle with treasure, I like that. Okay, we gotta kill these back two guys. They're always a bit spooky. Shit, I didn't put myself in the front again. But that's okay, because again, we do need to kill the back guys. Confidence surges oh, rolling as the high. Crumbles. Rolling high. Let's go for again. Give me a stun. Nice. Put him in the middle where he doesn't want to be. I believe, yeah, these guys mark and then the green guys do like super damage. What the fuck? Lowered our blight resist and stunned. That's brutal. Can I kill... I know you can kill the torch outside of combat. I wonder if you can kill it in combat. Which is like, why would you? But then it's like, oh, you know why you would. Be really cheesy and get a lot of uh, free stuff. I mean, this lineup seems really strong for this area. Um, I think the areas level up, though, as you, like, beat them. So... I think right now, uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, we don't have to kill him. Let's just lower a little bit of stress. Battlefield medicine and stuff. Mm, change plans. Ghoulish horrors. Unlocked, okay. Brought low and driven into the mud. Nice. Money, 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 money. So we do have a room battle down here for sure, because this hasn't frocked. Um, we have two more torches, might as well. What the fuck is that? A beast carcass. Now I wish I kept, kept those torches. I feel like we probably could have burned this. I don't know why I'm... 
I always think it's just burning it. Okay, well, let's be stupid. All right, I don't have any, I think anti-venom or torch are gonna be the thing. Herbs? Yeah, actually, maybe we like season it and we can make a stew out of it. What the fuck? If only treasure could That's actually hilarious. Flow. Let's use that to heal up a little. Oh, what the fuck? I brought two shovels. Wasn't enough. This sucks, actually, because these really hurt you and deal a shitload of stress of damage. Iron, like, that's so fucking flesh. stupid. And, and th there's zero way to, like, prepare for that. You know what I mean? You're just like, oh, I'd... it's a really short thing with a tiny map. I'm definitely not going to need three shovels. No, yeah, you will. Every time. Uh... This is actually a pretty easy encounter. I don't really need to... I was going to say, I don't need to stun, but the thing is, I haven't seen these guys do anything yet. I killed them too quick, so I'm, like, spooked. Wait a minute. How is that corpse bleeding? Talk to me. How does this thing even have a corpse? I don't know. That was pretty good. Let's, uh, let's inspire our boys. Again, we're just going to let her, her be sucked up. We'll just stress heal the guys who are a little bit lower. Get an open vein. Oh, didn't kill him. Needs, uh, so he's dead on his turn. Okay. The slow death. Unforeseen. Nice. Unforgiving. All right, last fight, and we're good, boys. What do we got? Oh, easy! Uh, again, I wish you were in the front for point blank shot, but I made some mistakes. That's okay, because we need this guy dead anyway. Oh. Annihilated. <laughs> Annihilated is right. Jeepers. Unnecessary. Uh, we get more loot if we kill him while it's shadowing. Something to be said for it. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, hopefully these enemies count as two. I didn't think about that. It would suck if they didn't. What's our chance to stun right now? 20%? Take it. It's all good. Wee! Oh, I didn't push him back. Weird. I'm gonna push my guy back. That's for damn sure. We don't need to worry about health this way. Oh, okay. There we go. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Uh, I will continue adventuring talks. Traveler's Tent. Someone has camped here recently. Well, I have a bunch of stuff that we can throw at it. Um, the question is, like, what do we use on it? Probably, honestly... I'm thinking herbs again. Like, I don't have, like, an anti-venom or something. So, or maybe a skeleton key. And there's, like, a secret chest in there. Item had no effect. Can we just keep trying items? Oh, cool. Herbs. Bandage. Holy water. Hmm. I don't know. But we tried. Whoa! Oh, another journal page. Cool. Uh, let's... The Blackest of Fates. I now find myself back in the Warrens, among the remains of my companions. My wounds are too severe to allow completion of our my task. Thus, the desecration must resume another time. Curious, there is a ring in my pocket. Where it came from, I cannot begin to guess. Though it bears the sig well, <clears throat> sorry, though it bears the sigil of the estate's ancestral owner. Very curious, it is. Dash neat. Driving out we didn't get too many rewards this time, battle. but we got a pretty good. But one that must be good. fought. And I mean, we got you know deeds, which are good. We needed those. Clumsy, that's garbage. Manic for money. That's probably okay. I mean, he used to be a klepto, so believable. 
We need to get rid of that minus five dodge. The degeneracy though. of the it's hamlet really is rough. nothing, I fear, when compared to the condition of surrounding acres. Let's go ahead and get you here before I forget. Get you nice and leveled up. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna. Yeah, I think I'm gonna throw you in here. And nope, the sanitarium. No, not. I don't care about vertigo. Wait, what does vertigo do? Yeah, that's fine. I want to get rid of clumsy. It's a little expensive, but oh, I don't care about known cheat though. Known cheat's probably like the best worst quirk ever because like all you can't do is go to the gambling hall, which is like terrible anyway. So I'm fine with that. What do we got? Okay, Houndmaster. I do want one of those really bad. Oh shit, my deeds go there. Frickaroo, because I really need the blacksmith upgraded actually. Um, more damage, better than armor, probably. Because uh, there's like accuracy and stuff as well in that. Um, actually. Oh, I see, it shows it here. Yeah, more damage, better crit, and it increases your speed. Yeah. That's good. I really want that Hellmaster, though. Man, that sucks that this uses deeds. Um, seems like most of the good things do. Wow, what would I get rid of that for that? I, again, I think there's going to be something with this prod. I, th I think if I hold on to this character, he'll end up being something just turn any miss into a hit is interesting yeah man how master is so good though do I, do we get rid of the antiquarian cuz they've got the yeah, trinket scrounge and produce a random trinket which could be so good. There's so much to be said for that, you know what I mean? I mean, their abilities are shit for combat, but... I mean, they do have a 1-1 one, one heal. That's a thing. Protect me is really interesting as well. Yeah, like, that's not even a stun. And their damage is, like, super weak. Ah. <sighs> No, I, I have to hang on to it, man. I have to believe it goes somewhere. You gotta be good. I hate to say it. I think we get rid of this Arbalist. I like Arbalist a lot. But I'm sure another one will come up at some point. God-fearing and Kleptomaniac are kind of rough, though. Because only, only praying. I mean, how often do you use... Stress relief, so maybe that's okay. I really hate Klepto, and we already got a bunch of those, and I hate, like, paying to remove it. Um, I really like Bola, though. Or, uh, I mean, sorry, I really like having, like, two of these guys. Just doing dirty. And you never know if that's going to come up again, you know? That's so rough. So rough. I don't know. We already got the, the hard questions. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Like... If you take this guy against a boss, like, plus 15% damage on an Arbalist on, like, a boss run. A lot to be said for that. Uh, that's kind of rough, actually. It's not the end of the world, though. But you generally fight on lower health. Huh. 
I don't know. Is it what? Oh, that's neat. This is a tough one, boys. Sorry if this is like boring, but like this is like super tough for me. I just I feel like there's cheese. I feel like there's such potential cheese with this, you know? It's hard for me to give it up. Something about like defender with that. Like just taking a stupid amount of damage. Is this guy that good? He's a jester, and we did level him up, so yeah, I like having one around. <sighs> Alright, I think... Uh... Wait, let's check. Is he even a good houndmaster? Incredible. He's, he's the best houndmaster. <sighs> I can't pass him up. Let's talk. What is 10% prot? Is a flat one less damage from every attack, right? That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> it's like you say something like that, you're like, what? what is that? Is that a good note? That's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty freaking good. All right. I mean, this is such an interesting, like, I hate giving up faded, but like, it's on a shit character, so get the fuck out of here, girl. Suffer not you can come in as our houndmaster. Nor the broken man. As I'd feel bad to not have Kuro in a run. Actually, it reminds me. I know, I know Origami. Let's uh, let's see, let's a couple more of the old crew around. We got um, of course War Games. Yeah, that was good. Who is the guy? Who's the guy with the coal coffin? Do you remember? Some weird sort of like Irishy name. Are any of these guys good? Uh, that's pretty decent. Oh my god. Oh, uh, that's actually terrible. The thing is, like, Faded's really good, but like, Shocker and Clumsy are rough, and it would cost a lot of money to get rid of that. Minus four speed in the first round, that's where you need the most speed. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Not incredible. Okay, well, who are we running? Are we doing the same crew? Oh, no, because we were getting rid of um, Clumsy. It's pretty bad, yeah. We could always take Musard instead. Cheeps. That's pretty, pretty interesting. Hang on. Uh, let's go combat skills. Oh, I can't put Brazilian in there. I really want to get him his thing. And this was a pretty good team. Is this a medium in the wield? Yeah, because we just did that. Bleed skill chance, extra bleed resist, uh, but minus dodge. Hmm. Abomination. Whoa. Whoa, that's insanely good. Well, we have to go for that. Um, let's get everyone's weapons up. People that we're going to be taking. I feel like there is... Nice. A little pricey, doing the old weapons. Do I need your weapon? Yeah, actually, you know what? What am I saying? You always need, you always need the better weapon. Let's do it. I like this because I really. We don't have an abomination yet, but we need one. And five deeds. <laughs> yeah, deeds are kind of a problem for me right now. Send me and coach. I need them levels. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, you're just kind of sitting on the sidelines, Origami. I mean, you're not. Not terrible though. I'm wondering, like, how high your health value is going to get in this game? Would I be better off just fucking fucking mania? Yeah. 
So who do I swap you for then? Do I swap you with Borrowed, yeah? Okay, I got Rampart. Um, yeah, well, before we take you out, hang on. We need you, first off, to be running Defender. Bello, I remember Bello being good, but they've nerfed it quite a bit. It's still an interesting ability. Um, I think Command's not very good, though. I mean, bonus crit is cool, but... Okay, so let's see. Where are your abilities used? Um, front 2, front 3. Rampart's extremely good. Front 4, front 3. Okay, we'll be fine. Not as much mobility on you, but that's okay. Let's head out. I think, again, I, I feel like Borrowed's going to be the much better option here. Yeah, I know. Sad days, man. So this is a medium mission, so let's get like... We don't need this much food. 20 should be good. I'm going to take 3 shovels, because fuck that noise. 3 keys, 3 holy waters, they're pretty useful. Let's get... We have some ways to recover light, so that'll probably be good. Um, we don't have any stress heal right now, that's annoying. Okay, change of plans. Oh, really? I gotta rebuy all those provisions? That's fair. Uh, I honestly feel like... I feel like they've kind of nerfed the mana arms a fair amount. I, just, I don't feel like he's as good as he used to be. So let's look at this, right? 10% extra max HP. That's currently 3 health. I'm thinking end of the game, we hit maybe 50, 60 health. At most, that's 6 extra health. The thing is, though, that's 1 less damage from every attack. So if you get hit 6 times, you know what I mean? Or currently, if you get hit 3 times, you're making bank. Yeah, I just, I don't feel like strong enough. I know I shouldn't have spent money on it then, but I did. We're gonna do this. We're gonna have Mr. Origami. And if Origami does well, I, I like the look of this one. This is actually really nice too. I think we'll go with that one here. A little Conquistador. <sighs> So, yeah, we'll rock this. Um, we are going to be camping, so let's look at camp skills. Encourage is really good. Help get that stress down. I mean, some of these are really nice. Okay, so they have pretty good camping skills. I guess that's kind of their thing. Um, wait, what? Where do I buy the camping skills? Oh, maybe you just start with them all? No, you don't. Well, how do you get them? I thought you bought them. I thought you bought them here. Huh? Is there a different place to buy camp skills? I don't know. Alright. Let's do it that way. So, let's get like 20. Maybe don't need it, but the thing is, we don't have any way to reduce stress right now, so we're going to be prioritizing taking out enemies that deal stress, which means we're going to be taking more damage, which, you know, something like this, right? Looks good. 
Is that enough torches? Eh. What, what was our thing? What do we have to do? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> Probably room battles or something. Hopefully it's exploring. But either way. That padlock seems really good. I want to get an A-bomb so bad now. And I want my grave robber. Oh, familiar. Forgot about that stress there. What are we? 90% of room, so we don't need that one. Yeah, we're not going to do it. I thought about it. We actually have a very high stress party at the moment. Ah, portrait, cool. I mean, we want more deeds, but whatever works. This is battle number one. No. Okay. So far, so good. I could have sworn you could buy campfire skills. What is this shit? An alchemy lab. Before we touch it. Okay. So I probably need to be using something with that. Oh, we didn't detect the trap, sadly. Holy Mind shit, that was a big news. Steps are the exception. Not the Again, I don't really care about the damage, but having a lot of stress come our way this early is not great. Another alchemy lab. What do we need? Anti-venom on it? Probably not. Maybe. I would imagine, actually, it's, uh, it's probably herbs we need. Okay. Probably herbs for that. Oh my god. Curious is the trap maker's art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Like, already off to a really bad start here. I think we'll be okay though. Oh, we got a scouting proc, thank god. We took the right path here. Definitely took the right path there. We want to avoid battles if we can. Oh uh, no, origami, you fucking idiot. Uh, that's annoying. These usually have good things in them. How much damage is that? Six. Damn it, Oregon. Hunger. What was that? What was that heart? That was really weird. No idea what that was. It freaked me out, though. I think using firewood actually increases your light to full. So we should be okay. Okay, 90%. Yeah, 90 is our best bet. Nicely done. Yeah, we gotta rename Musard here. He's a winner. Decorative urn? Um, probably holy water. I think we tried that one before. Waiting to be spent. Just kinda seemed holy. Torch might have been another option. Oh! Okay, surprise. That's pretty lucky. Um, so, stunning these guys is, of course, how you open this fight. Even though it's not how you want to open the fight, it's how you open the fight. I'm just tailing you. Okay, we want... See, Rampart going for the stun is really tempting. We're just going to try and get a crush here. Big damage. Oh my god, yes. Sorry. That's what it was. I forgot that the Man of Arms had insane... You son of a bitch. Executed with him. You making me do this game? You making me clear those corpses, huh? Is that how it's gotta be? Uh, these guys are already stunned, and you need to heal. Actually, just just heal up. We'll be okay. We'll be fine this turn. We gotta go for a. Um... Sadly, I do have to go for the corpse clear. Um, odds we stun this guy are pretty low. Yeah. It was like a 60%. I think. <gasps> Didn't kill him. Shit. Yeah, where are you going, friend? What's your plan here? Oh man, Origami does not give a shit. Okay, I love it. I like it, I love it, I'm down. Um, we're gonna go for the stun, just because I want to increase our torch. Uh, happens. Ah, uh, I actually had a pretty good chance of that getting a, a kill. That's fine. Nice. 
So if they attack either of the front two targets with bayonet jab, um, it's it's bad days for them. Let's just put that out there. Their formation is broken. We got our brittle offensive. Oh man, that crit though, which is totally fine because we're just gonna um net heal a little more going for this way. Reset after every battle? Yes, I do need to. Thank you. This is, uh, these corpses. Bane of my existence right now. As the enemy crumbles. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Nice deeds. I need like a thousand of them, game. If you could just keep throwing deeds my way, I'd be really happy. Don't kleptomaniac. Okay. I'm happy if kleptomaniac only procs on trap stuff, but I mean I totally have keys for and could have got the rewards from anyway, but and what I'm saying I'm fine with, I'm not you son of a bitch son of a bitch origami you always like this um yeah I think we're gonna nuke our torch until we get to like here I mean, if it ever goes pitch black then we'll start worrying because I'm pretty sure bad things can happen when it gets too, too dark. Nice. I'm really liking the highwayman more than, more than I used to. That's for sure. Which is fun. I used to. Maybe, maybe this will be Raffle because I, I used to always name a highwayman after myself and then be disappointed because I never ended up using them. And this is kind of kind of a me character, the old sword and uh, well, sorry, knife and pistol, sort of roguey. Okay, didn't get surprised or anything. Thank God for that. Let's go get the blinding gas off. Uh, that's unfortunate. That's okay. We're gonna be able to stun her with the arbalist good. Or not the Arbalist, the Vestal. No, I'm so stressed out. Oh, she's got pulls and shit actually, yeah, I'm gonna... So it's nice. She's already attacked this turn, which is good, which means we deal with the Arbalist first. Well, stress is a problem actually, I guess we could probably deal with her first. Why do you keep rolling so high? Your speed's not that good. But, oh. Why is your speed so damn Oh yeah, speed on the first round. That's super annoying, actually, because of how I play the um, this class. Okay, so we're gonna actually have to start with him in slot two then, I think. Well, I mean, it's okay. Um, so this guy hasn't attacked yet this turn, and I think he has a stun. So, nice, Origami doing good, okay that was worth it then, we're just gonna let this guy, I mean I could Duelist Advance, get up here, um, oh you can Duelist Advance, what the fuck, a Duelist Advance can hit the back row? That's insane, uh, I don't know how I feel about that actually, that is pretty crazy, let's try for that like 20% crit, I mean I'd love to, nah, love to pop this guy. Because right now the back row is what, what scares us. Uh, chance to stun him. Like a 60% chance to get like a stun. And then like a 45 on this guy. So that's not too bad actually. Uh, I really need on the back one though. Fuck. Fuck. It's going to really hurt. Those guys are brutal. Um... Yeah, we're gonna drop this nuke. So we can pop him at least at the end of this turn. Okay, chance to stun is what? 100%. So realistically, we can probably get this guy. So, that's it, I can crush her, right? Yeah, we'll go for it. I mean, the stun's overall gonna be better for me. And this puts me in an annoying spot, like am I more caring about stress? Yes, I am. Or this guy, but this guy does a shitload of damage actually, so 
We're gonna go ahead and pop our dual advance. As the fiend falls. Now we're up here. Now we reflect damage. Get shite on, my friend. Okay, that crit was not incredible. Incredible. I think this is this the stun. No. Oh, don't put my Vestal to the front line. Oh, that's fine. Worked out for us, alright. Um, yeah, I've got a battle with medicine this, sadly. That was pretty, pretty rough bleed. Because I don't need to point blank this guy. But here's the interesting thing, if I point blank, I push him back and that pulls the guy up one. I'm just gonna put my Vestal in slot one, yeah. Press this advantage. Give it's them not no good, quarter. I kinda wanna be in slot two, but... This is why you always take the AoE heal, because you can use it from like, pretty much any slot. Rampart is incredible, because we can just like, fly the fuck up. We're gonna be on give a shit. Destroy. Them now we just all. need to use the stun and corpse clear on this character. Um, and then we can point blank him. So. Which is pretty good. Pretty good. Um, I have a ton this of keys, and I'm gonna be really sad if I don't get to use them all. Which I probably won't, let's get real. What you got? Deeds, please. No. Oh, book! Book of Rage. Performed. So, extra damage of HP is below 33%. Extra crit, but lower bleed and blight resist. That's really interesting. Did that work properly? I don't think it's updating correctly. Thirty-three percent of twenty-three, so seven. Oh, yeah, it'd be like seven point something. So we'll hang it here for now. Use torch. Yeah, we could. Uh, I don't think we need to though, because we're gonna be sleeping like right outside this room. Or do you have to sleep in the room? I don't know. If I know. You do have to sleep in a room, actually. Black as death. Um, let's torch up a bit. Oh, uh, okay. This is an RA encounter for us. Ah, uh, well. I mean, obviously we have stress issues at the moment, but it would be an RA right encounter for us if... <laughs> If we had it gone first. Uh, we didn't, but that's okay. So... This guy already attacked, right? Yeah. So we want to do it... This way. Oh, really? Wow, that was super unlucky. I mean, this guy's dead though, so that's fine. Oh wow, Crush can hit the third row. Okay, so that's what make them that's what makes the man at arms good. Is his melee attacks can reach the third row. That's super strong. That's a stun. Oh, missed it. Get shit on, sir. Hang in there. You're gonna be fine, don't worry about it. Unwound. You're definitely probably not gonna die here. Um, I still have like a 60% chance to stun this guy. The risk is that he'll go before this guy and then hit him, and he'll die. Yeah, it's not worth the risk. 
The gold pips next to the sea. Check that out, eh? Meh. Use my brain. The brink, facing the abyss. Gold white pips next to HP tells us. Oh, cool. Okay, actions remaining. Oh, paranoid. That doesn't sound terrible. I'm paranoid. I got no, no issues. It makes me more cautious. I'd probably be safer in combat because I do less silly things. Um. So honestly, probably just crush. Uh, Eighty-five percent chance to hit, or ninety with the stun. That's fine. Well, obviously we need big heals. Yeah. Then we can kill one of these two enemies before they attack. No, we can't. Huh. Speed two. Speed six. Oh well. They're tracking us. We must mask our scent. Oh. Well, I know you think you're going away, but... <laughs> Duelist advance, my friend. Welcome back to the front. Uh, that's the stun. Okay. So we should be able to finish this guy up next turn. Yeah, I, I, I know about heart attacks. Hold fast. I know about Rush shit. Fire. I know about bad RNG. Don't remind me. I invented bad RNG. Alright, man. Give me the old pistol shot. Bam! Okay. Uh, probably, I don't think this guy does that much damage ultimately. So, we could do this. See what happens. Okay, you take the hit instead, I like that. We just want to heal up a little bit. We are going to be camping, but we're probably not going to heal that much ultimately. Nice, that crits a little bit of stress back. A little bit in our favor. Damn, we got so many freaking keys. Remind yourself that um, overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. How much does camping use? Probably enough that I shouldn't be... Hmm. Oh, there you go. Here's your bonus damage. What? Five to nine. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. Minus 25% because of our affliction? Oh shit, paranoia is pretty bad then. What does it do? What does it? Uh, what does paranoid do, though? Doesn't say. Okay. Mm. Let's just find best ten of the others. What? Well, I'm using firewood, though. That was really buggy. Gathered close in tenuous firelight. Uh, okay. Easy companion. No, thank you. I never eat poison after sunset. All right, so they can't heal when they camp. That's a little rough. So the whole party, plus 10 dodge, plus 3% crit for a bunch of battles. That's good. Um, we can heal this guy. That's good. Oh, anyone with diseases? I don't think so. No, we're good. Oh, that's cool, though. Whoa, huge. Okay. So, if religious, that would be you. Still, it's, I mean, 5% prot on everybody is minus 1 damage from all attacks, in theory. What do you got? Okay. Bonus damage. Oh, clean gun's pretty good. Well, let's go ahead and do our prey. So did it not work on you? Maybe all companions means everybody except yourself?
Mortality debuffs heal 50%. Oh, that's sick. Okay. Oh, but it's only on yourself. No, no. Yeah, it's on everybody. So it's going to cure... Well, not cure his Zestor, but it's going to heal him and lower his stress because he has it. Okay, but it doesn't affect him because he's paranoid. Super weird. Super weird. Sure. Uh, okay. So... Basically, being paranoid is really, really bad, Behold, I guess. The abyss I have no idea manifest. why it's so terrible. Um, like, compared to some of the other things you can get? I don't know, whatever. Is what it is. Do I need to do this one? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 rooms, 90%. I don't know, maybe. Let's go check it out. Let's use a little bit of food on you. We're probably going to end up going through the, the food thing, though. Bookshelf? Uh, books are usually pretty bad, actually. We're kind of stressing. Let's check it. Oh, cool. In the same instant, we found ourselves in a place of suffocating dark, facing a creature that defies description and whose recollection causes my qu quill. Oh, like he's writing with a quill, okay. Quill to jump and shudder. I thought he was like a mutant. It is merciful. Only fragments of our battle remain in my psyche. I see Cuthbert hacking at a quivering appendages of the monster. I recall how a piece of its flesh sloughed off, and its own twisted accord sprang on the bullion, piercing her stout palate, or plate. Bullion's the one with the crossbow, so she's an herbalist. The occultist, as if to offer himself as tribute, was torn apart by its writhing limbs. Cool. Okay, nothing here. Oh, scouting, yay. That's quite nice. We found out one thing. I feel like we definitely could have scouted that one as well, game. You cheeky shit. You just didn't want to give it to me. Now, sadly, all these characters were actually going to have to pay to reduce their stress. And once again, it's like I bring shovels and keys, and they're quite expensive. And then it's like, for some reason, like, just find so freaking many of them, too. I don't know if I have to bring these back or not. In uh, Radiance, may we find victory. I actually don't know. Do we drop the torches? No. Eh, we already read that one. These dark caves drip with an overabundance of humidity. Beyond my threshold of comfort. I nearly broke my ankle on the rocks, made slick with some ubiquitous slime. Pool stir and slosh with no visible cause, and the shadows beyond torchlight seem to grow and shrink of their own accord. Cool. Oh, hey. Get yeah, back up there. I mean, Book of Rage with point blank shot, that's gonna kill somebody, probably. How are we looking, by the way? We got one more battle. Hey, just one more battle. We can do this, team. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to Oh yeah, it. we got this. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, everybody. I know it looks bad. Impressive. Can I shuffle this guy to the front? Oh! The luck. I could do better given half a chance. Alright. Wow. Like, rude. Um, let's get a stun. Nice. There she is. Goodbye. Fiend. Sadly, we don't have any any way to um, lower stress. We're also getting like kind of unlucky, I find, with curios. Like we just haven't found a lot of the good ones uh, this run, anyway. Still have a decent chance to stun this guy.
Oh, I used the wrong attack, actually. I should have been using Judgment for a little safety. bit more damage, but that's okay. Boom, boom, boom. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Mm, no deeds, sadly. Crests are okay, but I have a crap load. Yeah, let's keep going. You don't reduce stress for that? Oh, that's unfortunate. Man, like I just needed something, like any of the good curios. Keep dropping these journal pages. Okay. He wouldn't let me like read the page. <laughs> he was like paranoid. Let's hope pages. I cannot recall why we ventured onto land. Why did we leave when Mother Ocean provided all we needed beneath her tender waves? I will now return home, back to her embrace. Indecipherable scratchings fill the remainder of page. Cool. We got some deep ones from Cthulhu. Yeah, let's just pop in here for why not. Alrighty. Well, that was okay. I mean, we got a padlock out of him. We got a few deeds. Got an okay amount of money. I mean, this was just really shitty. Last gasp. Nice. I mean, he had that on his other guy. And Manslayer is okay. It's okay. It's just okay. It's not bad. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Oh, good. Now we finally... Oh, there we go. The fucking camping skills. I knew there was something. Places. She is like, a stalwart survivor. This only used crest. Okay. I don't know if there's much. Po How much does it cost? Oh, they're quite expensive. Oh, damn. I see. Let's check the nomad here. What you got? Charms gathered from all the forgotten Whoa. corners of the earth. Ten percent max HP. Two. No. It's not that good. It's interesting, but it's just not that good. Which is a bit unfortunate. Let's go ahead and throw this back in the, the old box here. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to sadly have a few people Go for stress relief. Um, I mean, I mean, this is me though. He did end up being paranoid. There you go. What can you do? Well, let's see. Get you there. Let's go ahead and get. She can do anything. Okay. And then Herpy. Herpy's pretty good though. I'd hate the. To... I mean, this is incredible. We locked in two terrible trades. But, like, I mean, that. Like, terrible is in they're not bad. Like, I don't mind having them. That's really good. So. Wow. Okay. Plague Doctor, you gotta take. Uh, it's unfortunate, but the Plague Doctor is, like, far and above one of, like, the strongest things to bring, I find. The Houndmaster is really, really, really good. Uh, clutch hitter and whoa. Okay, hang on. Hold your horses. That's fine. I mean, that's pretty good on this guy. But the thing is, so how masters already get like really good dodge. That's just kind of what they do. Getting evasive on one, like. There's something to be said for that. What do you got? Meh, meh. I mean, that's unfortunate. These are these would be really good if they were on like somebody else, like an arbalist. Because I don't think you have any range skills, right? No. It's too bad. The Houndmaster, though, I do I do quite like these. I mean, clutch hitter. Yeah, that's good. Evasive, it's good. It's quite good. Um, 
extra damage in the Warrens, though. That's like, that's a pretty, pretty beastly one. No, I think, unfortunately, we got to take the Plague Doctor here. And I could increase our roster to fit him in. But it's like I could also get armor smithing. You know, and that's just a whole nother bag of worms. Super, the super flames. useful. Mold the metal. We are raising an army. Like flat up right there, it's seven more HP. Five more yeah, like uh, yeah, that's really hard the to... I mean, dodge does get better the more you have. That's a fact. Um, honestly, I think I think we drop this, and that's good. But I don't think it's something. Is this the second time we're deleting Kuro? What the fuck? What's up with this, <laughs> Kuro? I'm sorry, dude. Send this <laughs> one to Johnny that's so funny. All right, let's get him back. Well, we have need of stern this will be the stock. the new Kuro. Fear of mankind, eh? It's annoying, but it's doable. Maybe it was the outfit. Let's get you looking like this. All right, we got a few people off. Let's see what we have here. Uh, okay, ruins to slay the boss. Focus ring. Eh. You know, eh. Not very good. That's interesting. This is really interesting. Uh, we may go for this because, like, again, we're already kind of stacking some stupid, weird prot build on origami. Like, if, if we could find a way to get him to, like, 100% protection so he's, like, immune to damage, and then he can just every turn just be like, I'm going to guard an ally so two of us are immune to damage. Probably not going to happen, right? But it's interesting. Um, the Drifter's Buckler was strong. Deeds are definitely something we need. Bonus damage versus Beast, but minus dodge. Plus five accuracy on range skills. Okay. Solid. Um, we do need deeds, though. Unfortunately, it's just a short run. I think this is interesting. <laughs> okay. Well, who do we bring, then? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before I forget. Where's your... That's fine. We'll be able to cure that. Okay, so what do we do? Do we take Herpy out again? I mean, he's stressing out. But, like, I think we'll be fine. Origami's also a little stressy. Oh, yeah, we got a new Plague Doctor we need to level up. Uh, we've got a Hound's Master we can take. We have a Grizzillion. Yeah, I kind of like this. Oh, you don't have leeches. Um, leeches are really good. We could. So how much? Let's let's do a quick math here. Seven hundred fifty to cure vertigo, or I go up to the survive list here. Grab Croc. So we can buy basically a cure leech or a cure disease from him. Uh, this is going to be short anyway, so we won't be won't be using that sadly. But so you're a little high on stress. Aside from that, probably okay. 
Probably okay. Um. Oh, you don't have Battlefield Medicine. Or Disorienting Blast. That could have been... Whoa, bad. That could have been really bad. If we rush, we don't need a healer. It's true. It's, it's true. I think this is pretty strong, because you can use everything from the back, right? Oh shit, yeah, do you have your good ones? Hang on. Hang on. You don't have blackjack. Blackjack's freaking incredible. Ah, oh, yeah, but if you take blackjack, you gotta run him in the front. Um, we can't use mark target with this group. So, yeah, it'll be fine. We'll probably be okay. Got some dog treats. I like those. Okay. Two shovels. Just two keys because the game's trolling me whenever I take keys. Probably okay. Grab some food because that's always fun. Uh, I can probably get away with eight food. It's two procs, let's go ten. Bleeds probably here? Let's try let's try some bleeds. Mm, holy water. Seems good to me. Seems good to me. I don't actually remember this place either. I kinda feel like this is pig place though, and I think I went to pig place before. But I normally just went to the ruins, it just felt like the most like true you know and because it always has like the most quests available they breed quickly down oh there yeah this dark. is like super short but perhaps we we'll can probably be fine faster you son of a bitch origami oh a map thank you for stealing that map you son of a bitch remind me to put you under shock treatment gotta get rid of that whoa moonshine barrel Okay, let's talk. Moonshine bandages. Does that make sense? Am I crazy? Bandages, moonshine. Like, we, like, make our bandages, like, super good when we heal. But then it's like, do I need? Like, you know what I mean? I don't fucking know. I think, I think it's bandages. But I don't need a heal right now. So, let's try. Oh, it's not bandages. Hmm. Uh, we'll just open it and see what happens. Oh. Well, we just took a shitload of damage. That's all. No, no problem. Oh, surprise. Well, that's nice. It is a surprise, as one may say. You sadly do not have enough damage on your plague grenade to kill these guys. Probably worse just healing yourself. This damn blade. Oh. Hound's Rush is like super suit. Oh, wait, wait. Hound's Harry, that's the one. This is so good. Aw, oh, we shoulda. We coulda totally nuked all these guys if I did. Um, good chance to kill one of these guys. I don't have grape shot. That's interesting. I used to always run grape shot. Nah, it it makes more sense. Just take one out for sure. Back to the pit. No quarter given. That's like that's what I like to hear. Executed with impunity. Be gone, nice. fiend. That worked out. Just take a little nuke nuke here. Get light. No. Oh, that's a stun. Okay. Another abomination. That was pretty good. That was, a, that was an alright. Alright fight for us. 
Got an obstacle here. Oh shit! Okay, these guys are just spooky as hell. <laughs> I mean, I love the art design for this game. It's so good. It really, I mean, I don't want to say it because everyone gets really excited when I say it, but Another one I really want to fucking play some Call of Cthulhu. Let's get that going, you know? Stun chance? Hell yeah, 100% chance stun. Done. Easy. Um, maybe we hound Terry here. Get a little bit of bleed up. I'm just fucking kidding. It's like, it's just not enough. Not enough right now. If we buff this though, and it ends up getting like more bleed per turn, that's gonna be a really nice AoE. And I think it does eventually. Because you just get like everyone bleeding. So, here's the thought, okay? The thought is I can probably... Like, I can set this guy up to die next turn, but he's already stunned. So I'm probably better off, because this guy's a 50% stun chance, to, like... Do it this way, and then kill him. Yeah, I think that's probably my best Destroy option here. Them. Sorry that it took a little bit, I was just I was brain elating. And I love that, I love strategy games, I love when you just sit and be like, hmm, what do we do? Uh, this, like... Okay, so the, what do you think? Um, this guy looks like, whenever you see the small enemy, you're like, oh shit, that's, that's the terrifying one, that's the one that's gonna fuck you up. But like, realistically, the drummer probably... Does stress damage, right? Let's see, we don't have heals either. Probably AoE stress damage if I had to guess, though. This, this guy's pretty evasive, too. Um, and I do a little bit more damage to this guy at one point, because he's a human, and we have the um, Manslayer or something. Mankind Hater. Alright, let's do it... this way. Okay, so this is an interesting option for me. Uh, do we roll the dice? This has a pretty good chance to kill. So there's a lot to be said for that. I basically have a 60% chance to kill or something like a 70% 70, 70 chance to kill. As the fiend falls... Yeah. A faint hope blossoms. A vomit. Oh! Tried to go for the back. Backslash. Alright, let's get some. We could guarantee a stun on him. Yeah. Makes it easy. I don't have any way of dealing with this shit, though. Uh, okay, if I was smart, I would have disorienting blast and it would have killed the corpses. But that's okay. Um, let's just chop one. We'll be through that next turn, which is nice. I could have gone for a heal, like healed for like one point or something. Um, something they said for it. Does that always bleed? Yeah. Bonus damage versus beast as well. And it lowers their bleed resist. That's interesting. I like it. Yeah, I'm gonna point blank, so I'm back here and I can fire off my pistol. Oh! He dodged! Too fast! Oh, he's gonna get an attack then, I think. Oh shit, we got lucky. Uh, 60% chance to stun here. No. We tried. Oh, nice. Their formation is broken. I like that. Hey, we got another shovel. Scouting. Oh! No, nothing. As the light gains purchase. Oh, it's trapped. Spirits are lifted. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know those clear. could be trapped. They said they're unlocked. Hey, it makes sense. A bit. Such These blockages are, are unsurprising. Here. These tunnels. Oh, uh, we do have an anti-venom. I mean, it would have been smart to use at the beginning, but I think 
I think we're okay. Shh. What are we shushing about? In radiance, may we find victory. There's a curio back there? Hang on. What the fuck was it? Oh, a torch. Packs laden with loot. A little, are little often further, boys. Supplies. <laughs> what if we're ambushed like this? No, 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 no. Believe me, th these corridors aren't so small that you have to cram together and go back like that. You would have been alright, boys. Hey there. Dinner cart. <laughs> um, okay. Human remains. Looks like a feeding trough. Disgusting. I mean, it doesn't actually look like a feeding trough. Can confirm. Hmm. Okay, I think if we had herbs again, maybe do the food thing. Uh, we don't have herbs, so I'm going to try burning it. And it had no effect. I don't know if we rummage through this. Oh, we got 60% blight resist. Why not? Fool me once, indeed. Did you get anything? No? You're fine. Okay, we'll just have Herbie keep sticking his hands and things like that if we're not sure about them. I think that's probably the safest way to go about it. Hey, scouting! We don't actually have to fight this. We can go around. Uh, we're going to, though. We're feeling pretty good. want to get some loot. What do we get? Oh, 250 bucks. This place is really light on stuff. I don't know if it's because it's like our first time coming here, so they're being like really easy. I think that's probably what it is, actually. That's, I love how I'm like, I don't know why. It's like, it's exactly why. It's our first time here, so the game's like trying to soften it up. Let us get like a nice sort of feel for it. Which unfortunately is not what we want. It's okay. It's just... It's done? Yay. I think we could have upgraded your skills actually for a little more accuracy. Which is fine. We got there. Oh shit. The doge missed. Thankfully, Grizzlia never misses. Remind yourself, totally never. Confidence is a slow and insidious I like that. I feel like you should get XP. Well, you get some stress relief, actually. That's nice. That's something. I don't know how XP works, exactly. Sack is empty. Do we still have shovels? Yeah, we got two. We're fine. Uh, I'm tempted to pop in for this curio. Find out what that is. I think we're gonna go this way, though. And we'll go back for it. Finding the stuff is yeah, there's like the nothing good test. here. Oh, origami damage. What do we lose out on? Uh, that's fine, I guess. I think kleptomaniac is just a super, super unfun mechanic. <laughs> but maybe that's just me. Well, this guy's dead. It's nice. Hello. Oh! That damage, dude. It's just insane. So it turns out DPS rush, I mean, you know, don't always recommend it. But we did fine this time. The double dodge, though. My god. My god. Oh, we're just gonna have the dog run through all that. Well, I guess not. We're not gonna give him the, the pleasure of having the double kill. Probably could try stress reducing them. Oh! Seize this minus momentum. one speed, but Push plus on one percent crit. End. I I gotta do it. Why did the crit go down then? Sometimes I like that is a little buggy. Oh shit! Oh oh shit! Uh, okay. This is fine because we can duelist advance. What do we need dead though? That thing probably. This seems fucking terrifying. Uh, it's got really low. St okay, so. Hmm. That's interesting. 
this is this is going to be interesting. Oh fuck, this is going to be interesting. Okay, I got a 19% chance to crit with my pistol. I mean, that would give me a kill. Area here. Masterfully bleed, bleed, bleed. Oh, what the fuck? Did zero damage and he resisted the bleed. That's so, so unfortunate. Okay, uh, which of these enemies are we the most scared of? This guy, he looks fucking terrifying. All things said, um, probably the stress. Probably the stress. Okay, he resisted the, um... What the fuck? Wait, whoa! Hold up! He has a 10% sun resist. Oh, no, no, because, yeah, this is our... Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. This isn't our good Plague Doctor, so he doesn't have 110%. Yeah, I knew that was going to be bad. Oh, he still got stab! Nice! Look where it hurts. Pull him forward, please. No, shit, I was hoping. Okay, this is looking good. Hound's Harry. Hound's Harry's gonna do it. Um, push the Plague Doctor back. Give me a stun. Shit, I really needed that stun. You might have actually made that if we upgraded your ability. Oh my god! Like, repost! Just putting in work! Hey, we're just gonna kill this guy. Holy shit! Holy shit, though! Duelist advance. This is the thing. This is what you use. Uh, I mean, so here's the interesting thing. We don't care about health, actually. Uh, we do care about this guy. Oh shit! I don't have a way of affecting him. <laughs> okay. Got dead. Really? That's really bad luck. Oh, oh! What's this do? Stun? Yeah. Okay. I mean, we have to get one of these stuns, realistically. No? Okay. Okay. Uh, gonna have to go for a heal on him. On Croc, then. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Eat shit. Didn't see that coming, did you? You probably didn't. Butcher cut. Please don't bleed. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. We can deal with that. We can deal with that just fine. Nice. This expedition uh, we'll kind of continue checking the place out for a little. Because I want to see what that curio is first. And actually, if we uh, disarm this trap, we get a little bit of stress heal. So that's nice. I'm grip the shark. Ah, oh, it's moonshine again. Alright. Croc, stick your fucking hand in it. A uh, little bit of stress back. We did it! Experiments should have never and we have another one of these, which is nice. Are doing just Those are really, really good, them. actually. Just gonna go. Oh my god, like no heirlooms this run, though. The worst! Oh, hey, hey, Resolve 2 on Brazilian. Intense craving for alcohol. Plus 20% stress yield in the brothel. <laughs> stress eaters, okay. It's just okay. Uh, less crit, that's fine on this character. Extra stress in the Warrens. A little bit annoying because that's like where he's best, but that's all right. Cast out from the One cannot help but admire these unfortunate these souls. They bear their burden with grace and humility. Seldom seen this able-bodied. Seldom seen the able-bodied. Okay. What did that do for me? Did it give me lepers? No. 
That's good. Kind of in leper colony. I have no idea what that did. I don't mind games with random events like that. In fact, I play a lot of them. Uh, I play a lot of board games, so I, there are a ton I have that have mechanics like that. That doesn't mean that I'm not confused when some of them have... See, the thing is, in a video game, some of the stuff comes up and you're like, what? But in a card game, like, usually, or like a board game, you're, you know what's happening, because, you know, you're, oh, shit, I really want that grave robber. Grave robber is, like, super fun. Uh, nope. Okay. Who do we give up? We don't. I can't, unless it's a really good one. That's okay. Actually. But it's not, like, incredible. That's really good. Meh. Oh, my goodness. Imagine if we saw the... What? It's not allowed to visit the brothel. For reason. Whoa! Jeebers! Vestal, please, man. We gotta do this. So what does this do, though? Oh, I can just take them. Even though my roster's full. Okay. Not incredible. How about you? Cove Tactician, Cove Explorer. Wow, and Lazy Eye, which is not that bad. Um, that's some shit. I would love to take this guy. But I can't, so... It just doesn't do something that like we don't already have. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't have a leper right now, but yeah, it's just, end of the day, not really worth it for me. Okay, so, I did say if we survived a couple missions, origami. You're still stressy, I know that. What? Oh, oops. Get rid of click. Oh, thank God. Hylomania. Locked in, not kleptomaniac. The device is necessary. Just hold on. Hold on to your butts. Um, I'm just going to get these leveled up right now before I forget. Because those are super important. Yeah, I would not have imagined from this that I could drag these. I thought it was saying like it buffs them. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, if you had, like, a leper, he would have got, like, more, like, stress re resolved or something. I don't know. I had no idea what it, what it was trying to tell me there. Uh, either way, well, it was pretty good. Pretty good run. And see, this is it. Like, I'm less salty. I'm having a good time. You know? Are we going to take some losses eventually? Yeah. But that's okay. But, oh, shit. That one's terrible. I have to take that guy out with a, um... Plague Doctor at some point, because it's one of those things, like, I just, at the beginning of the game is just so rough, like, just waiting for something good to happen. Okay, hang on. Minus 25% stress inflicted on party from skill transform, minus 25% on transformation stress. That's so garbage? Because, so the interesting thing is the Abomination is actually like a pretty good class, uh, from what I recall, unless they've nerfed him. But the thing is, his transform form is weaker than his human form because of all the AoE nerfs. So like, you only ever use it in like, like pretty much never, basically. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Hmm. That's odd. What is this? What does that do? Oh, I can trade them. Okay, so I can trade bus. Oh my god, really? Because yeah, we have a billion. Well, what are bus used for? Hang on. Okay, some of this shit. That's fine, I got tons of those, though. I don't really need them. I really need deeds, though. Like... 16 deeds from that. 
Hell yeah. Oh, I need a couple crests too. Okay, well now we can have a slightly larger roster, which means we can take the grave robber. She's Those okay, right? Keen eye. I mean, actually, that's Gold really good. Gleams like a dagger's point. And who is it? This guy's amazing. This man understands that adversity what about you? and existence. Okay, we need are deeds and crafts, and that's fine. Uh, eventually, we're gonna want to do this, but we're gonna hang on to it for now. Well, that's a really cool mechanic they put in. I don't know when they did that, but I really like that one because that's like super necessary in my opinion. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Well, how does how does the transform? So if I do deeds. Oh, I see. So everything is the same ratio, which is weird. It shouldn't like some things you get a lot more than others, but that's okay. In time, you will know the tragic. That's right. Yes. My failings. That's so. Fun. Yeah, you're right. Rudy and Borrowed both have lazy eyes. <laughs> well, I mean. It's never been completely proven, but Rudy is Bob's son. I say a grave robber. Um, what do you think, grave robber? Hmm. We could have. Um, Lock in. Yep. That'd be good. We could get Red Orc. Oh, we already got Grizzillion. Grizzillion's our, our other highwayman. And he is bloodthirsty as shit. It's pretty good. And then we need someone like, of course, Frost Cookies, I believe we also. I think Frost Cookies was a uh, Arbalist before. That's okay. We normally put him as a support character. Yeah, I think we'll call it here, guys. Pretty good runs. I'm feeling good. It's like, I, this is the part of the game I love. Like, when things start getting, like, I don't know how to describe it, to the point where I feel like I have choices. You know what I mean? Because in the beginning, it's like, you just get what you get and you're fucked. But now it's like, okay, I can customize my guys. I can bring, like, certain combinations of dudes if I want. Mm, that's interesting. Well, that is really interesting, though. That's not very good. That's really good, actually. Unfortunately, it's a short mission, but that may be what we go for. I mean, just a shitload of dodge and accuracy on your jester. You can't really ask for too much more. Um... You know, we of course get oh yeah, Spider's Fury. Remember him, or as I like to call him, Spider Fury. I don't know. I always forgot the S for some reason. But yeah, that that would make the Jester quite beastly, actually. We have like a twenty percent dodge chance on most enemy attacks, assuming they have a hundred percent accuracy, which some of them have less actually. Oh, well, there Spider's Fury is. Hey, what's up, man? We could just do, this is a short one, we could just do a quick run. You're always lurking? Well, I like that, dude. We could just throw together a couple weird people. Because all we gotta do is explore 90% of rooms. Alright. Let's get Rudy out. He's a beast. Let's get, um... Let's level up our other Arbalist. That'd be good. If we take Spider's Fury on this run. That could be good. Okay, we got some powerful stuff. We just need another good, strong frontliner. Oh, Borrowed would be incredible here, of course. Um, yeah, I would love to take a lock in, actually.
I would love to, but we're not going to. Not with this group. That was a long time ago. Yeah, Spider's Fury. We've, we've been around. We've done, done a lot of weird things. We actually got some more room. Were any of you guys good? Howmasters are pretty good. Cove Explorer. That's nice. Eh, we'll, we'll take this guy. I'm not sold on it. A lawman and his faithful beast. We'll probably be getting rid of him, though. Forged by battle and bloodshed. Okay. Let's go make sure we got some good skills, though. So, Rudy, we have Chop, Hugh, Purge. Yeah, Purge is kind of necessary on this guy. Um, not Intimidate. You need Solemnity. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. We'll also be grabbing war games. Sniper's Mark suppressing fire. I, mean, I don't like suppressing fire that much. Uh, I think Bola is okay. Battlefield bandage, though. There you go. Alright. And. You can actually upgrade Spider Series and make it a little better. Which are we bringing? Oh, shit. We're bringing Slice off and not Finale. That's okay. It's only a little bit of money we lost. Borrowed. Yeah, we have you upgraded fine. And then if we're taking you out, we may as well just... So expensive. So expensive. But, I mean, look at the health difference. Like, I mean, not so much on the jet. I love how I'm just... Look at the health. Di it's garbage. Um... But no, it, it is huge. It is. Right, and you guys aren't rank 1 yet. And this thing, we kind of need to get everyone to resolve 1. So, doing a short one, leveling up 2 guys, having 2 guys able to sort of like cover. That's pretty good. Let's get some of these going. It's short, so I can get away with 10. 2, 2. Well, we already have a holy water. Do I want a second? No, I don't think so. I think we'll be fine with this setup. Shouldn't be, like, short mission shouldn't be too hard. Actually, uh, I've been thinking about this very, I, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm sort of in a weird place in my life right now. There's a lot of things, like, going for me. But of course, there's a of lot of things, sadly, going against me. And no. uh, I don't know. Things are a little stressful, a little weird. So I don't really know what the stream most times when I get on. And I normally get on pretty late. So I haven't been doing it. But I keep wanting to do, like, another DOS game, like, you know what I mean? I do love them. I've been trying to decide, like, what I do. And there's sort of, like, this weird thing, right? Like, it's, uh... Yeah, it's exactly. That's what I That's what I always do. You know what I mean? Life is too short not to, like, relax, right? And, like, the stream is not a career for me. I do it. I have fun. We do not have a lot of stun in this group. So we need to kill people. <laughs> Reliably on every turn, so I probably should have brought a few extra torches. Um, you gone, right? Yeah. That's okay. We'll figure it out. But um, I, I just don't. I don't know I, what one I want to play. I kind of want to do like um. We could do this in the Holy Lands. So I like that. Oops. Yeah. Kind of want to do like. Albion, but it's like a longer RPG. So I don't know, maybe not. It's an interesting one, though. This expedition at least promises success. What do we got? Books? Fuck books. Not a fan. I don't think there's anything good that can resolve from books. I mean, obviously in this game, <laughs> I think books in real life are great. That guy's dead. Mark target, always scary. What? That stuns too? Holy shit, that ability is like bullshit. Uh, we're probably gonna get artillery. I don't think anyone else can reach this back line. Slowly, gently. They can reach there though. Life is taken. Oh my good god. That is some overpowered horse shit that just happened. Sorry, war games. Literally nothing I can do. You're just. You're just oh, okay. And that's fair. Lepers have a very low hit chance. Be gone, fiend. Yeah, the plays, dude. They set me up. There's nothing I can do about it, though. It's like, did you get hit? Yeah, well, there you go. You're dead. This guy's dead. 
Oh, resisted. Sadly, you have to battlefield bandage yourself. Oh, can you not use it on yourself? What? Oh, shit. That's really weird. Um... Continually hmm. Onslaught. I had no idea. That changes everything. In a bad way. Okay, well, War Games is impunity. dead. Unless I do have an anti-venom, thank god. Wow, though. Jeeps. Plus five accuracy of the range skills. I mean, yeah, that's nice. Whoa! Alright. That combat was really rough. I wonder... Nah, we're fine. What? Bar borrowed, why? You're not a klepto anymore, you stupid fuck. Man, we went in all the trouble to get rid of kleptomaniac on him. And what is it? Kleptomania. Absolutely terrible. Like, traits like that are so dumb. It's like, oh, you want to interact with something? No, 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 no. You don't get that fun. So it's because, like, this game is, like, so dependent on you, like, getting money and stuff. Like, stuff like this, whatever. I mean, that's pretty good, actually, for me. But it's like, you know, if it's, if it's interacting with, like, the bad things or the things that, like, oh, you might get, like, poisoned or a negative trait or something, it's like, whatever is what it is but when it's like oh no this is like one of the few ways to get money or like the um heirlooms that you desperately need to like win blanket fire yeah this is actually just a dps race though spoops my noops okay Decent chance of one-shotting. Nah. We had a chance, though. Chance to stun is, what, 85%? It's not a guaranteed kill, so yeah. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Press this nice. advantage. Give them no quarter. Okay, well, aside from that one round of combat where everything went to shit, we're doing okay. We have a lot of stress heal if we need it. Um, he's already gone this turn, so yeah, we're fine. Um... Something you said for just like toss a little fuel out, I guess. Oh shit! Oh RNG, please! Not like this. Yeah, nothing I can do. We'll just get a little bit of torch. <laughs> Do I miss foot wrong fart bread? No, man. Never. <laughs> uh, although, interestingly, um, how do I want to do this? Yeah. Um, I did make a blueberry grunt the other day. No lie. It's, uh, you can just make them at home, it'd be good. So, As the fiend falls, <laughs> recommend. A faint hope blossoms. Yeah. I'm actually, believe it or not, so, man, the stream's been going on for a little over two years now. And I'm on, I'm, I'm quitting my, like, well, basically, I'm, like, quitting another job. And it's, like, the, the first year we were at Subway, and then we're gone, sadly. Um, that sucks that I don't have two of these. These are pretty good for money and stuff. I must know what's within. 
well, it's it's ashes. It's an urn. But I mean, the first time I was laid off from Subway, there's nothing I can do about it. It's just uh, the family made very poor business decisions and ran out of money. Happens. Um, whereas, oh, okay, I'm really happy. I did what I did there because the worst thing you want to have happen is open this particular fight with um, surprised. There's a lot of bad things that could go wrong. And then this time I'm just quitting because the Montana as I work at is just terrible. It's the worst place I've ever worked at. I've been working in kitchens for seven years, so that's saying something. Um, she's already gone. It's pretty low. I'm gonna do four to nine damage, so. Yeah, I'll just secure it. Because the thing is, ultimately, like, I can't heal health this run. But if I can make it out of here with little stress, like, that's sort of better. Um, the leper can always heal himself, though. He'll be fine. Nice. This guy hasn't gone yet, so if I could stun him, that'd be awesome. Cool. Because he has a stun ability as well. And the last thing you want to do is get stunned. So what we're going to do, we're going to go for this here, it's going to open us up the Holy Lance, the back line, nice, which is going to let us take a sniper shot, and then Holy Lance might kill him because of its bonus damage to Unholy. Not guaranteed, but it's, it's possible. Oh my goodness, Spider's Fury don't give a shit, like he's just dancing all day. I love those crits. It feels so good. Uh, might as well. I mean, this, this is a weird party, but it's kind of working. Remind It'd work a lot better if I realized the Herbalist could self-heal. All we're going to do is 90% of rooms. Oh, almost there. Okay. Um, yes. Heirlooms, please. Deeds? Uh, well, whatever. What is this? Oh, it had like a huge symbol on it. I like panic. I was like, oh my god, amazing. Plus 20% stun resist pretty good, actually. Uh, sadly, wow, another another time where it would have been incredible to have holy water. Oh, deadly disease? What'd you get? A creeping cough? Minus 20% damage. That's rough. That's okay. I definitely could have disarmed that, probably. But I dodged it, so I don't. That's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, we don't have any more battles coming up, which is nice. As long as we don't get hungry two more times, we're looking good. Eh, fuck your books. Well, okay, maybe a bookshelf does have something good in it. I don't know. The stack of books, it's always bad. Let's try. Spider Sphere, you're already having a bad luck. No. Um, we'll be able to cure that, though, with leeches or something. I, mean, I could pay for disease treatment. I guess. Mine's 20% damage is pretty bad. Um, but we're not really using either use Finale these days anyway. 80% chance? Come on. Nice. A little bit of stress coming there back our way. I like that. Stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. Just uh, probably keep our torch up. Don't really want to encounter anything too bad. What's the last room? Nothing. All right, well, let's go check out these curios. Let's see what we get. Uh, you're not sticking your head in that, are you? Okay, confession booth. This is interesting. I remember we actually cured one of Borrowed's terrible traits with this, was it? I think so. And I wouldn't mind getting rid of his freaking Plutomania. Does anyone else have any bad traits? Uh, Fear of Mankind is meh. No, you're good. Oh my god. Whoa, War Games is kleptomaniac, which I didn't even notice. War Games, stick your head in there. Oh, 
treasure. My Whoa, treasure! First test. Now That's garbage. Carried home. My fears are confirmed. With our torch doused by an errant spray of seawater, we were ambushed. Strange fish-like creature. <laughs> Sorry, strange fish-like hominoids. I don't hominids. Who who says hominids? Nobody. Not even in this game. That's not. That's not. That's not a thing. That's not a word. Ambushed us in sudden darkness. The pitch of the torch caught quickly, and I glimpsed scaly appendages swinging crude weapons, glistening and barbed. They didn't last long with our torch rekindled. Alas, one bit me in the neck before I gutted it. The wound stings and tingles strangely. Us, physic, or physic. What? Our physic told me to keep it clean and covered. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just. Stick your head in the bookshelf. Oh, cool. Oh, and holy water! Damn it! I'm become vengeance. <laughs> All cultists will feel my mace. Brigands fear my roar. I'm outnumbered. Tis true, I'm starved and half mad. As long as there's breath in my body, I will press on. I will wreak unbearable agony on those who would seek to despoil my great man's. And now they come. I douse my torch. I do not fear the darkness. This is my house, and woe to the uninvited. Oh, Buddha. Uh, I think that's it, though, right? Yeah. Out we go. The great ruins belong to us. Ding, 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 ding. And we will find whatever secrets oh, they hold. Oh, that's terrible, though. What do you got? Slow draw. Uh, that's fine, actually. Lepers are like the slowest people ever. I'm all right with it. Our family name once okay, we got so rid of well one kleptomaniac. Is now barely whispered aloud by all right, folk. where where are you at, War Games? Oh, it's the wrong place. Get in here. Um, do we? Yeah, you know what? It's so this is interesting, right? Like. If we went on a long mission, we could totally treat this for free with um, our Plague Doctor. There's a lot to be said for that. Oh, we don't have a Bounty Hunter. Oh, but we don't have an Abomination. I want one. Plus five accuracy? <sighs> yes. Incredible. Mortimer. Tortured and reclusive. This man is more dangerous than he seems. Okay. Takes more stress from the Unholy, which is... Pretty actually, that's really, really dangerous if you take them around in the um, the ruins there, because those goblets. But I mean, destroys the eldritch and bounty hunters are really good, like super good. <laughs> nice. Where's the riser? Well, do we want a guy who's possessed by demons? No, I don't think so. Um, Cove Explorer is strong, though. It's gotta be said that is that is pretty strong. Especially if we were to, like run that with Rudy. I don't know if we do though. I don't know if that's a group you run together. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Origami. We already kind of have a Cove hero. This one has become and, like, vestigial. I do want to have a bounty hunter. They're pretty, pretty sweet. Because collect bounty is stupid damage. Like, stupid. And mark for death. I mean, like, come hither is so good. Uppercut is so good. The flashbang is really good. I don't use hook and slice so much. But, like, flashbang is really, really powerful. I just have a lot of great abilities. And these guys start, like, boom. They have every ability, but of course, like, you have to upgrade them all. And this is why you keep... So these four abilities are human form. Is that how it works? Yeah. So the thing is, these three abilities are human form. So you get manacles. And if we just look at this, it's a stun, but you only reduce your damage by 60%. And it still has 95 accuracy. That's really, really good. Compare that to, like, most other people's stuns. You know, um, zero damage. This is also minus 60%, but it's on a character that does less damage naturally. Well, actually, 5 to 10 is pretty good. But this is like the highest damaging character, I think. 
Uh, leper. Leper's the highest damage in character, yeah. But he's, he's definitely up there. Uh, Hellion is comparable. But still, like, it's insanely good, right? And then you've got V-Spile, which, I mean, this blights the two middle enemies. Um, weird that it has a 1% crit mod when it does zero damage, in theory. It's odd. But it also reduces their blight resist, which is cool. So again, you just stack that, right? That's pretty good. And then this one, it lowers your stress and heals you. So it's really good. Uh, it's just a really strong. You just basically use them and just like smash people in the sort of mid two, and constantly, constantly hit them with um, stuns. And then you know you can always sort of buff up and go in the transform mode when you want. But you don't really need that because normally you just need a character that can reliably stun targets every round, right? So he kind of fills your plague doctor role, I guess. Um, or you can take him with a plague doctor, of course, and then. That has you stunning basically three enemies a turn. Like, not reliably, but, you know, you're probably not far off it. So it's pretty cool. What do we got here? Anything good? Whoa! That's interesting. Whoa! Huh, <laughs> that's really good. Um if you're running always above that torch, but I guess if you took that, you would be. Huh. Anyway, guys, we're going to call it there. We did some good stuff. We got some level ups and things, and we got to the point of the game that is, like, super, super fun and exciting, and that's, like, the big thing. So I will talk to you all tomorrow, uh, as always, and, um, yeah, see you then.